They brought you in to be a three-point shooter. And what do you do? You set the Mavs record for most threes in a Mavs debut. It was incredible to watch. It was. Congratulations. Here we go. Here we go. How, how refreshing and rewarding was it to start this way? Uh, it was. Couldn't ask for a better start. I mean, just sharing the floor with Kai, Luca, and the rest of the guys was very special after a hard month of really good work. And to see it come to fruition was awesome. But uh, it's just it's just a small step for where we want to go, but it's something we can build off. On at least two of your threes, Luca was halfway up the court, not looking. He told the whole crowd it was going in before you even knew it was. What's it like having him as a teammate now? <laughs> well, Luca makes the game easier for not just myself, but everybody in this arena. I mean, the gravity he demands, his passing ability, second to none. And I'm here to help him try and be one of the greatest. So we know it's his team. The show runs through him. But uh, it takes a whole squad to get to the goal where we want to go. Do you feel free out there? Is that an accurate description? I just feel great. It's uh, <laughs> Blue is my favorite color. and. <laughs> Mass blue looks good on me, so I'm having a great time, and off to Phoenix we go. But, uh, wow, just incredible. It felt good to get this first one out the way and play well. So not satisfied, but I'm happy for what we did tonight. So Clay Thompson with his six threes in his Mavericks debut sets a uh, franchise record. Always uh, good to see Antoine Walker name somewhere. Yeah, um, he wanted a fresh start, Kenny, and he's got it. And um, he looked free and easy and shooting the ball well tonight. Huh? Look, it looks great. Um, I, I, this was a perfect opportunity for him. Great, you know. Sometimes you you, you try to figure out. It's hard for a great player to figure out what's a great fit for them, because in their mind, Shaq, Charles, I can play anywhere. I can do anything. This is a perfect fit. He picked a perfect team. Because those two guys, Luca and Kyrie, are the best one-on-one -on -one basketball. These are tough shots. That's a tough shot. That was his first make. He won't have any more. He won't have but one of those a game. All of these will be like this. Because the two best, uh, five, they're the two best one-on-one -on -one players in the world, possibly. And Luca and Kyrie. And now you cannot guard, you can't double team off him. Look at the time that he has. He will make three out of five of these shots every night. He will make three threes every single night for the Dallas Mavericks, regardless of the situation. And then if he can get to that 20 point mark, then he changes the complexion and makes them possible champions this year. Chucks are granted it's one game. It's one game with 22 points and a win over the San Antonio Spurs. But you said in the pregame show you didn't think he'd have much of an impact on this team. As far as getting to the next level, I think they're middle of the road team in the Western Conference. Really? Yeah. They I went think, to the finals last year. I, I, still I think, think, I think they got lucky last year okay. because of matchups. Because of matchups. Okay. Um, everything worked out perfectly for them. But this year, I think Phoenix is better. Oh, New Orleans is going to be better. The Lakers are going to be solid. Memphis is going to be good. I think Dallas is just a bottom of uh, the uh, West the six, really? seven, eight seed. Really? Six, seven, eight. They, they were a five seed last and, year. Are they going to be there is somewhere around there again this well, year? Well, five is not six, seven, eight. Yeah, well, they're going to be six, seven, or eight. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You buying that? No, I'm not buying that. that. I mean, I'm I'm happy for Clay. He, he really didn't play well in the preseason, so I'm sure as a shooter, when you're not shooting the ball well, you're, you're kind of comprehensive on if it's going to get going or not. But Reggie made a good point. Just be Clay. Tonight he was Clay. Shot the ball with confidence. Uh, I didn't believe he was open that much, you know, but as a standstill shooter, that's the guy you want to shoot the ball. So again, if he can get up to 19, 20 points a game, they will be the world champions. And, I, yes. and that's not a, a listen. Clay is a Hall of Famer, but I'm just saying, everything worked out perfect for the Mavs as far as matchups. But they did have to go on the road. They did they, not they have did, home but court but in it, any it, of those series. But it's still about matchups. Yeah, it's about, they had a perfect road to the finals. They won't have that this year. What did they need How do you know that? to return? Since they added Clay, you don't think that was the answer. Clay what do you think they needed they to get back advantage. to the NBA Finals? But I just don't think they've got to – it's just my personal opinion. I, 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 no, but I, what did you think they uh, should have added then if it wasn't Clay? I don't think they could have added anything to, to get to the championship, to be honest with you. Wow. I think they got two of the best one-on-one -on -one players in the world, and they just had perfect matchups in the playoffs. And they won't have that advantage this year. That's just my opinion. I mean, I, I, I don't care. Well, well, let me say this. You say six, seven, or eight seed, our usual bet on that. 
Bet. Okay, our usual one. Have you paid me for the Georgia game against you Auburn? You didn't pay me last year for the Georgia Auburn <laughs> game. Well, that was just bad accounting by you. <laughs> <laughs> you needed all 22 of those points I gave you this year, too. Uh, and that's our, a, little, just a little too soon. Dallas, 120 to 109 winners over the San Antonio Spurs. And uh, Clay Thompson, story of the night with 22 and 7. By the way, Luca, 28, 10, and 8 in that win. And Dallas at Phoenix on Saturday. When we come back. That's an ass kicking. <laughs> what more do I have to say? You know it's bad when Chuck is hoping to put up Shaq free throw numbers on who he played for. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a nice little 40 percenter. <laughs> there you go.